السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We're on chapter 44 in Nirad al-Salihin, Imam Nawawi rahimahullah, and the chapter is holding in reverence the scholars and elders, referring them to others and raising their status. قال الله تعالى في كتاب العزيز القرآن المجيد بعد عضو بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون إنما يتذكر أول الألباب الله سبحانه وتعالى says say are those who know equal to those who know not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a standard, a measuring stick to determine who has higher status according to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. And what's unique in, in, in the perspective or the injunctions given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu as we are looking at the Black Lives Matter movement and all the racism that's, that has plagued our country and the history, we see that Islam, from the onset, from the time of Rasulullah especially in his last sermon mentioning that there is no preference from a black man over a white man, a white man over a black man, there's no preference. But there is a preference, not in terms of race, but in terms of knowledge. And the beauty of it, the beauty of it is, that whether it's a black man, white man, brown man, red man, doesn't matter. Any one of us, any one of us can embark on this journey to achieve knowledge and have a higher position in our community. Anyone. It's open to everyone. And there's no time, there's no age where you need to start. It can be now, it can be today. And within, within a few months, a year, a few years, a person is able to excel. This is the beauty of our deen and it's an open invitation. Are there, is there anyone who knows equal to the one who does not know? Obviously not. It is only men of understanding who will remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his signs, through knowledge. The objective of knowledge is given in the end part of this verse, which is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If a person achieves knowledge or rather information and it takes them away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you will find people with double PhDs but do not believe in God. That is not knowledge. That is information. They know something. But it is not that which leads to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that regard, alhamdulillah, we are honored to have our Qari Ibrahim with us, Wadilu the Shaykh, mashallah, whose respect and honor is mentioned in the hadith that follows, where Abu Masood radiallahu an, he says, who was a Badri and an Ansari Sahabi, meaning the reason why Imam Nawi rahimullah has brought this, right after the chapter, what was the last chapter, anyone remember, last week? Anyone remember? Sleeping, sleeping, tired, tired. Honor and respect of who? Honor and respect for the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Remember that? Too far, too long. It's too week, one week, too far. Here, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentions the person who is best. So this is again the hadith being brought by Imam Nawawi right after that chapter. The honor and respect for the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and then now he brings this hadith. The person who is best versed in the recitation of the Book of Allah should lead the prayer. It's not the one who memorized the most Quran. It's the one who's well versed. What does that mean? Knows the rules of Tajweed. وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا That Tartil is the Tajweed. That's the tafsir of Ali radiallahu an. So the one who has that, who's the most well versed, Alhamdulillah we can say for sure. In this masjid right now, Fadilat al-Shaykh, Ali Ibrahim, most of us are versed. This is his position. No one can take that away from him. No one can take that away from him. But if all those present are equal, if any one of you wish to excel and to learn, 
You can learn from the shaykh. You can go and study. And you can come back after two years, three years, seven years, whatever it is. Depending on the time you give, you will have the same position. Then the one who has most knowledge. This is interesting. This is very interesting. And chapters and, and volumes have been written on this. That the proper recitation of the Qur'an in terms of prayer, in terms of prayer, takes precedence, its priority over those who even have more knowledge. You could be a shaykh al-hadith, mufassir, muhaddis, doesn't matter. Get in line in front of the qari. In regards to the prayer. The one who has most knowledge of the sunnah, if they are equal in that respect too, then the one who has emigrated first. This is in time of Rasulullah referring to those who sacrificed first, who went ahead and saw the opportunity to become the first ones to pave the way for others. We have those people in the community as well. Who gave, who are, if we're all equal in the community, those who are the ones who sacrificed for this community. The ones that were here before everyone else and paved the way and made it easy for everyone else. Those would be the ones who would be preferred. That is what is being referred to, those who migrated. If they are equal in this respect also, then the oldest of them, now age comes in. Among them who's older. No man should lead another in prayer while the latter has authority. This is in regards to if you go to someone's house. Here's again, how beautiful are these, subhanAllah. If Qari Ibrahim comes into any one of your homes, any one of your homes, Qari knows, mashallah, he would not go and sit in the imam position because it's your house, whose right is it? Who's right? The person who's sahibul bayt. That my house, Allah has given me. It is my responsibility to recognize there is a Qari in my house. I need to sacrifice that and give it to him. That's my response. But what would the Qari do? He would not stand there. Nor he would even want it. This is yours. And then the person, house, the one who is the owner of the house, Sahibul Bayt has to say, no, please, I sacrifice my right. How, how detailed, how beautiful, how delicate this deen. Or sit in his house without his permission. This is Rawahu Muslim. Again, our deen is complete. Guidance through and through. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to understand its beauty and act upon it. Aqulu qawli hadha. Astaghfirullah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.